Hi, we have brought all you brilliant geniuses together to run the world. We know who we need to get. We've got Harvard, we've got Yale, we've got Princeton, we've got MIT, we've got Cambridge, we got Oxford. We have the London School of Business, and we have special guests from the University of Hamburg in Germany. Now, too, we have some guests from California that we're going to let out. We surely ain't going to let them speak. And we have some guests from Utah. They're not allowed to speak. We know who runs the world. You can watch and see how it's done in California. back up here. Okay, the name of this program is going to be the Integrated Studies to Run the World, Statistical Probability, the Return of King George University. First question. Can more than one horse win the Triple Crown in one year in the United States? Kentucky Derby, Preakness spell. Can more than one horse? Show of hands. Everyone says no. Oh, there's a guy up in the back in California. What's your name, Steve? You say yes? Well, I thought I told you California, you can't. Oh, all three, two horses could dead heat in all three races. So it is a possibility. The number's gargantuous. Can you guys take out your HP flux capacitor 2436AT AD Novell spreadsheet word perfect shift F18 Omega zip storage flux capacitor spreadsheets and run some regression? Oh, it does come up a number. The number's gargantuous. How many zeros? Holy cow, you can't even count how many zeros? What's that number? Gazillion? Bazillion? Decent, what, what's that? The Cal I told you California guys. Not, Google's the number? Okay, you Californians need to shut up. We run the world. You guys don't. We're no crackpots. And you two, Utah, shut up too. So it's not that. No, it's actual number. Okay, first off, we're going to start with all in our syllabus here. We're going to start out with you uh, London School of Business guys. That and you Oxford and you Cambridge guys. What's that? What's that? Rupert? Your name's Rupert. I see it on your tag. Rupert, you teach Orwellian communication? Now, who's this sitting next to you? Oh, this is Hudo Fucko Wapo Gaddafi? Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you guys. Rupert, you're a professor over there, but you're taking the yes. Oh, what? oh, you want to run the world. Well, you're in the right place. We're here to run the world. Okay, what is the statistical probability? Economics, we're talking economics. Let's just randomly say, in a said society anywhere, let's just take the United States, for instance. Let's say that oil's $12 a barrel, gold's $225 an ounce, the median price of a house is $120,000. Let's just randomly say that. Let's just say that there's a surplus. What is the probability within just a few short years, say five years, that oil goes to $160 a barrel, that we don't have a surplus, we have $14 trillion in debt, and let's say the median price of a house triples. What's the, run that through your flux capacitor, HP 2468AD software, freaking word perfect shift 28 novel. Regressions. Oh, you come up with the same. Yes, we know. I told you, Calvin, shut up. Google. It's exactly the same number. Google? Okay. All right. What's that? Miss, Mr. Otta, I told you no science fiction in here. Put down the Tom Clancy novel or I'm going to ask you to leave. This is serious business here. Yes, put down the Tom Clancy novel. There's no science fiction here. This is reality. Okay, next, you Princeton guys. What's that? Rupert, get away from the window. What's that? You see a fox by a what? Out the window, you see a fox by a swap, by a derivative? No, 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 no. You don't speak very good English. This is, that's a fox out there by a swamp, by a river, not a fox by a swap, by a derivative. It's a swamp by a Get back here. Get back here. Okay. Let's go to you uh, Princeton guys. Okay. We just did the statistical property. Okay. You guys are geniuses. 
You know how to run the world. You know how to run Wall Street. You've always run Wall Street. You've created these 401ks. What is the statistical probability, let's say 10 years from now, 15 years from now, that 90% of all Americans give you their money in 401k? And let's say, what's the statistical probability of 85% of them all want it out at the same time? Run that through your flux capacitors. Yes, I know, Brent up there. Steve, quiet. Yes. Exact same number, Google. What's that? What's that? What's that, George Barack? You Harvard guys will get your turn. You Yale guys will get your turn. So will your MIT. Oh, they can help. They say they can help you out with that. Something about uh, a lobbyist and a rule called putting down the gate where they can't get it out. Okay, we'll run that regression later. Okay, let's move on to the next guy for you uh, Yale and Harvard guys. Let's talk geopolitics. Now, I, you, you play on the Harvard basketball team, Barry? Why would I say that? A tall, skinny, black guy at Harvard Law? You gotta be on a basketball team. Oh, you don't? Huh? Hey, what is the probability of a, let's say, a half white, half black guy living in his car in Los Angeles ever becoming president in the United States with the last name of Hussein? What's half out of it? It's way past Google, you say? <laughs> okay. Let's run that. Run that through your flux capacitors. Your HP 2468ADs. What? Exact identical same number. Wow. Okay. Let's go to UMIT guys. It's your turn. Okay, UMIT guys. Let's run this through. What is the probability of two 30-foot tsunamis hitting within, let's say, four or five years and the tsunami and the earthquake being so big that they go in 15 miles inland and kill hundreds of thousands of people? What's this right? Can't ever happen. What? What's that? You am I to tell Brent to shut the fuck up? Uh -oh, okay, okay. Can't happen. Not that's that. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the end of class. That's the end of class. So, what's that? George just puked on freaking Brock's shoe. Your father warned me about you freaking drinking in class and being drunk. And, you know. You know. There's a party tonight in the basement of the Masonic Temple. Yes, we know. That's where the real educations be. To you guys over there, if you don't know, well, I think you probably all know. Just look for the skull and cross bones. Oh, what's that? Excuse me, ma'am. What's that? You were teaching a class in here earlier. And some one of the children left their lunchbox here. Oh, Steve's got it. Steve's got the lunchbox there. Bring it over here, Steve. What do you teach? I teach, I teach fifth grade literature. Yes, I know you make ten times more than me. Okay, twenty. But I have a passion for it. What is it? You know, Twain, Melville, Angelo, Da Vinci. Who are they? Yeah, I know I'm never going to make any money. Oh, oh. Thanks, Steve. Here's the lunchbox. Is this it? They said something's very important in it. They said something's very important in it. Hmm. All I see is an apple. That's the only thing in there.